Hello and a very warm welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. The metaverse has long been gaining traction in both the digital and the real world. The idea of humans interacting with each other in the virtual world using 3D avatars offers several opportunities to users including in the fields of cryptocurrency, non-fungible tokens and more. However, as per a study, the immersive virtual world, which is expected to grow to a $679 billion industry by 2030, also poses several risks in terms of trust and safety concerns. The metaverse is attracting large investments from technology giants such as Google, Meta, Microsoft and Nvidia to make the virtual world a reality. As organizations develop their business strategies for the metaverse, trust and safety issues need to be among their foremost considerations. As the metaverse is expected to grow in the coming years, the enterprises will have to face challenges like ensuring the safety of virtual assets, managing data privacy and preventing the abuse of online avatars. Tackling these novel challenges will require a collaborative approach among enterprises, academia, policymakers, and trust and safety service providers to harness the full potential of Metaverse as an immersive yet safe place for users. So with the growing popularity of the Metaverse comes the challenges too. Yes, Metaverse comes with its own set of potential challenges that will require attention as countries explore the utility of this technology. Now let me tell you about these challenges. The first major challenge is safety. Even before the rollout of Meta's Metaverse globally and its VR social media platform Horizon Worlds, an assault on a beta tester cautioned people about the ugly side of the technology. Since Metaverse blurs the line between virtual reality and reality and is unsupervised and unregulated to a great extent, harassment can take place in the virtual world. The first report of a VR-related death has come from Moscow, where a 44-year-old died after falling through a glass table while wearing a HMD headset. A South Korean man was recently sentenced to four years prison for storing sexually exploitive content of minors he lured on the metaverse. So with the increased engagement of people in immersive technology, early safeguarding of users will benefit the individual users and platform and address the trust deficit. Companies working in the immersive technology domain can be incentivized to create more applications for a safer environment in the metaverse which will allow a wider demographic of users to experience the technology. Now, as the metaverse is considered to be an attractive entertainment feed for children, it will be a massive challenge to keep them safe as they use the technology. Unsupervised time in the open social metaverse can expose them to abuse. In the US, research by the Center for Countering Digital Hate published in December 2021 on Facebook's We Are Metaverse app shows that in the metaverse, children are more prone to abusive behavior, including bullying, being forced to repeat racist slurs and extremist talking points and being exposed to traumatic experience like threat of violence. Indeed, even adults are not immune to the dangers that VR can cause, as the line between reality and the virtual world is blurred. Second, interoperability and privacy. So another challenge is the risk that the metaverse will be controlled by a few big tech companies like Google, Amazon, Meta, Apple and Microsoft. The economics underpinning metaverse will then be linked to the capture of user data and conservation of privacy will be a massive challenge. Third, assigning accountability. So assigning accountability in a metaverse platform is difficult as the technology transcends geographical boundaries. And to deal with the challenge of content moderation, for one, four main areas can be considered in governance with special focus on accountability, individual, community, platform and government. Metaverse will produce data captured at a higher level like gaze, gesture, speech and biometric data. Now, this private information needs to be localized and this storage will be a task which the state needs to handle. Fourth, data security. Sharing of data across boundaries for processing can pose a threat to national security as the metaverse can be used as a platform for recruitment by terrorist groups and for radicalization, extortion and social polarization.
So data through the metaverse can lead to fraud and identity theft. For example, by hacking via headgear or glasses, hackers can steal personal information. Fifth, Cyber Syndrome Open issues of metaverse include high computation power, leading to higher electricity usage and the experience of Cyber Syndrome. NFT and blockchain technology in the metaverse economy require high computation for maintaining the ledger and validating it. In blockchain technology, the mining process in itself consumes a lot of electricity and has an environmental impact as they use high-end computation. So with the development of immersive technology and smaller and portable devices, there will be a rise in cyber syndrome cases as more people would likely be spending long hours on Web 3.0. Focus on regulatory challenges. So this is a new challenge for intellectual property rights will arise with the metaverse. Ownership of art and properties in the real world is a different domain from that in the virtual and this has to be protected so that the animation, visual effects, gaming and comics industries can thrive. So NFTs can raise legal concerns over intellectual property ownership and rights. And due diligence on the terms and smart contract that is a part of the NFT transaction needs to be exercised to avoid IP theft. So as of now, India is largely unequipped to deal with the issues arising from metaverse technology. And balance needs to be maintained between data and sharing with trust and data to be processed within the geographical boundaries of a country. Limitations on data sharing and processing can hinder the development of metaverse and might slow down the growth of technology. So the possibilities offered by the metaverse can be limitless. Metaverse might take time to reach its full potential, but if achieved, it can be a wellspring of new business opportunities. And with increasing technological influence and demographic advantage, India has the opportunity to make the most of the metaverse. But to allow early adoption of metaverse, the Indian gaming industry and regulations introduced by the government have to be in sync and only then metaverse will offer a safe space for all. Well, that's it in today's episode. This is Vishakha signing off. To know more about such interesting topics, keep watching 3.0 TV. And for instant updates, do not forget to press the bell icon.